Despite the level of hatred and roughness on the ice, hockey does not appear to be a sport with an inordinate quantity of personal vendettas and grudges. Leagues such as the NBA and the NFL are increasingly well known for these types of player feuds, owing to interactions on social media. NHL players are more private and reserved in general. They prefer to keep things private and deal with issues on the ice rather than online. However, that doesn't prevent them from hating each other's guts at some times. Here are the NHL players who hate each other. Eric Carlson, Mike Hoffman The Ottawa Senators have been a mess of an organization for several years. One of the truly dark clouds around the team in recent years involved the wives of Mike Hoffman and Eric Carlson. Back in the summer of 2018, it was alleged that Hoffman's wife, who was his girlfriend at the time, was behind a cyberbullying campaign against Carlson's wife. The anonymous troll alleged to be Hoffman's wife even went as far as to make comments about the Carlson's stillborn child. Hoffman and his wife denied the allegations, but there's clearly no love lost between all parties. Not surprisingly, Hoffman was traded to the Florida Panthers later that summer. Alex Ovechkin, Evgeny Malkin Alex Ovechkin and Evgeny Malkin had a natural rivalry early in their careers because they were drafted first and second respectively in the 2004 NHL draft. During their first decade in the league, the two had a competitive rivalry on the ice, and at one point Ovechkin allegedly tried to punch Melkin's agent in a Moscow nightclub. Eric Lindros, Rod Brindamore Back to the rumors of marital affairs, it has long been assumed that Eric Lindros had an affair with the wife of Philadelphia Flyers teammate Rod Brindamore. According to rumors, a brawl broke out in the changing room after Brindamore discovered it. The following season, Brindamore was traded, while Lindros joined the New York Rangers. Brian Burke, Kevin Lowe The feud between these two former players began when they were both general managers. Dustin Penner, a restricted free agent from the Anaheim Ducks, was signed to an offer sheet by Edmonton Oilers general manager Kevin Lowe. That irritated Burke, who famously stated that he would rent a barn so that he and Lowe could fight. It is rumored that Burke hated Lowe so much because he wasn't subscribed to our channel, so subscribe to our channel to avoid a fistfight with Burke in a barn. Tyler Sagan, Nathan Horton In the NHL, there are numerous rumors regarding player wives. While many of the claims are unproven gossip, there is validity to the concept that Tyler Sagan was flirting with and trying to hook up with teammate Nathan Horton's wife. Despite having a lot of promise, Sagan was moved to the Dallas Stars despite being known for his partying habits early in his career. The move was thought to be a last-ditch attempt to keep Horton, but he later signed with the Columbus Blue Jackets. Mike Commodore Mike Babcock If you follow Mike Commodore on Twitter, you know how much he despises his ex-coach. Babcock coached Commodore while he was with the Detroit Red Wings in 2011-2012, and he has been the most vociferous opponent of Babcock ever since due to his handling and bullying of players. Commodore rejoiced when Babcock was fired by the Toronto Maple Leafs in 2019, when tales concerning his bad treatment of players in Toronto surfaced. Matthew Kachuk Drew Doughty Before the Cassian and Kachuk feud, it was Drew Doughty who really despised Kachuk. The Los Angeles Kings defenseman has hated Kachuk since he entered the league as a rookie in 2016-17. He's a pretty dirty player, that kid, said Doughty. To be a rookie and play like that is a little surprising. Be sure to watch the next Flames and Kings game because they never disappoint. Tom Wilson, Ryan Reeves this feud isn't about an affair, which is a refreshing change of pace. Instead, these two tough guys simply loathe each other for their on-ice conduct. The two players initially met in 2013 and have had countless on-ice battles since then. Wilson was the victim of a blindside hit from Reeves in December 2018, after which Reeves claimed Wilson ran into a lion in the jungle. Wilson has been punished many times for dirty hits. Chris Draper, Claude Lemieux while the legal system wasn't involved in this feud, Claude Lemieux had a similarly dirty hit on Chris Draper during the 1996 Stanley Cup playoffs. An on-ice brawl subsequently occurred between the members of the Detroit Red Wings and Colorado Avalanche. Draper, who suffered a broken orbital bone, broken nose, broken jaw, and broken cheekbone, wrote a detailed account of the incident for the Players' Tribune. Mike Richards, P.K. Subban P.K. Subban doesn't appear to have a single hateful bone in his body, so this may be a one-sided hatred. Mike Richards, on the other hand, is undeniably his adversary. The former Philadelphia Flyers captain chastised Subban in 2010 for being overly smug on the ice, a recurring criticism of Subban's flashy on-ice manner and personality. 
Subban remains in the league, whereas Richards was arrested for drug possession at the US border in 2015. Sean Avery, Dion Phaneuf Dion Phaneuf is married to Elisha Cuthbert, a Canadian actress. Cuthbert's ex-boyfriend, NHL player Sean Avery, made some filthy comments about both Cuthbert and Rachel Hunter, another of his ex-girlfriends who was dating fellow NHL player Jarrett Stoll when they were together in 2008. I just want to comment on how it's become like a typical thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my sloppy seconds," he said unprompted during an interview which, needless to say, drove Dion crazy and sparked hatred between the pair. Todd Bertuzzi, Steve Moore Steve Moore will probably hate Todd Bertuzzi for the rest of his life, and he has every right to do so. Back in 2004, Moore, playing for the Colorado Avalanche, laid a questionable hit on Bertuzzi's teammate Marcus Nasland. One month later in Vancouver, Bertuzzi tried to instigate a fight with Moore late in the third period. After the Avalanche player declined, Bertuzzi sucker punched him from behind and drove his head into the ice, knocking him unconscious. He fractured three vertebrae in his neck and was forced to retire. Criminal charges were filed against Bertuzzi and a confidential settlement was agreed upon in 2014. Ryan Kessler, RJ Umberger these two guys were intended to be partners after RJ Umberger was picked by the Vancouver Canucks but chose to join with the Philadelphia Flyers instead. Many say it was because of the presence of Ryan Kessler, his old Ohio State linemate. Kessler claimed Umberger was jealous of him when he departed to play in the NHL, although Umberger denies this. Kessler has been open about his dislike for his former college teammate and the two battled in 2009 while Umberger was with the Blue Jackets. Matthew Kachuk Zach Cassian Matthew Kachuk of the Calgary Flames and Zach Cassian of the Edmonton Oilers have a recent and intriguing rivalry in the NHL. Kachuk, regarded as a skilled pest, has gotten under the skin of many players in the league, and tensions erupted in the season with Cassian after he took a hefty run at the Oilers player during a game in January. They shared some harsh words in the media and fought each other during the rematch several weeks later. Thomas Plekanec, David Kretschke it's not uncommon for two players from the same country to dislike each other, see Umberger Kessler above, but it's unusual for two players from the Czech Republic, which has a small number of NHL players. This is two for Tomas Plekanec and David Kretschke. They've competed in the Olympics as teammates, but they've also had many memorable bouts while playing with the Montreal Canadiens and Boston Bruins, respectively. The most egregious incident occurred in 2009 when Plekanec hit Kretschke with the butt end of his stick. Sean Avery, Martin Brodeur Avery was such a pain in the butt that he earns a second post on this list. Sean Avery was more than just a nuisance off the rink. On the ice, he was much more despised. Just ask Hall of Fame goaltender Martin Brodeur, who had to deal with Avery's unconventional screening methods during a playoff game in 2013. At the end of the series, Brodeur refused to shake Avery's hand, and Avery referred to him as Fatso in an interview. Now for a light change of pace. I'd recommend clicking on this video to watch the most humiliating records in NHL history and let us know in the comments which player you hate the most and why.